All right, let's have a little fun with our fantasy this week. I can give you some names to keep and drop. You know, Hank Basket for Philadelphia because they throw so much. Maybe you grab him as a receiver. If you, if you haven't latched on to a guy like uh, Brandon Stokely in Denver, then, then you're crazy because he can sneak you a touchdown once in a while. If you're caught up in this Patrick Cobbs thing for the Miami Dolphins because he scored two touchdowns, not that big a deal. I wouldn't be too overly excited about that because that may be an aberration as opposed to somebody who's going to score touchdowns on a regular basis. And, and if you need guys like that for your, for your team, then you're in major trouble fantasy-wise. And you know, quarterback-wise with you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick in place of Carson Palmer, I, I, I wouldn't get too caught up in that, or Charlie Fry in Seattle. I mean, those are guys you may want to add to your roster, but a guy like Carell Buckhalter must be added. If you haven't added a guy like that in Philadelphia who can catch and run and will provide you with some big days, then, then something's wrong. I mean, this guy is a very good backup running back and would probably be starting for some other teams in this league. So those are some guys you can grab and some guys as the season goes on or a team like Detroit, whether it's Dan Orlovsky who's playing in place of John Kitna, if all of a sudden things go haywire and they go to their third quarterback Drew Stanton, who's their future, I've mentioned that before. But you know what, at this time you're scrambling around trying to find names, trying to find out, man, is this guy going to give me some or if this guy's hurt. You got back up on your roster. But the truth is now, let, let, let's be honest and have a little fun with this. You suck if your team is going to the Hank Baskets of the world. And not that Hank can't play, but if that's what you're, if, if you're relying on me, and you guys are probably better at it than I am, but if you're relying on me, now heading into week seven of the National Football League, League season, to say, hmm, we're about halfway through a season, fantasy season, let's see if we can go out and get Patrick Cobbs to give us a, a, a victory next week. Now, you can sneak him. I told you to get Eddie Royal early on. I told you to, to snatch on to him, and you'd have yourself a great chance because this is a special football player. I told you to go get Miles Austin in, in Dallas because he's gonna, he doesn't catch many, but when he does catch them, they're touchdowns. So I, you know, I can sneak in there every now and then. I mean, I'm not your fantasy guru, and I'm getting better because I love it. But come on now, folks. If you're relying on those guys to win you championships, you've got no shot. You've got to hope for a little luck. The key is you need your guys like the, if you had Derek Anderson as a draft pick to step up and have a game or he's going to be on the bench. Now, that's where your fantasy you may need to start saying what's going on, or Carson Palmer to step up and have a huge game. I mean, you're getting some great games from like Drew Brees. Those kind of guys are giving you your games, but it's all about the running back, and that's where you're going to get, you know, sneak and get a touchdown here, sneak and get a touchdown there. A guy like Pittman who's jumped in there. But folks, with your fantasy, let me give you all the advice I can. Like I said, I'm getting to the point now where we got to fight and scratch each week to grab you somebody. You know what, maybe Mike Jenkins in Atlanta because Matt, uh, Matt Ryan's doing such a good job throwing the ball. Maybe he sneaks in and gives you a touchdown every now and then. But you know what? Every week now, I'm also going to focus because there's not many guys out there that are going to help you win a championship. Your roster is what it is. Just like in the regular games, fantasy-wise, hey, man, we know your identity. If your identity is you've got great running backs like Adrian Peterson, you're going to play him every week no matter what anybody tells you. It's the injuries. And again, we talked about offensive coordinators I did last week about what their game plan is. Now you've got to start to look at teams, if, if they start to, is they roll along and they're 7-1 and one or 8-1 and one and 9-1, and one, are they continue to be aggressive? Do they continue to attack? Matter of fact, you may steal a victory with a defensive team that scores touchdowns. So, I mean, this is, you've got to, you've got to start game planning and suppose it's just the players, but you've got to game plan with not only the opponent and the player, but, you know, how many times if a team, like, like I said, you may get, the Detroit quarterback or Carson Palmer because they're playing from behind so much to step up and, and, and dominate and, and give you something really, really huge throughout the, uh, the second half of the season because they've got nothing to lose. If you're trying to get a guy like Cedric Benson to carry your team, then you're not very good at fantasy. And if you drafted him, then you, you've got no shot at winning the league. So let's have a little fun with it, but be smart now who you're picking and choosing but also remember who you're playing and who the opponent is. I'm Sean Salisbury for Open Sports Fantasy. I'm not great at it. Do you really have Cedric Benson on your fantasy team? If you do, then you're worse than I am. I'll see you next week. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.